Here's our favorite lesson of 2024. Not all fame that weren't hyped are poor. Welcome to Afromnia and follow us as we bring you the 20 most underrated Nollywood films of all time. These movies may not have achieved widespread popularity or box office success, but they are notable for their unique storytelling, artistic merit, and contribution to Nigerian cinema. At number 20, we have The Ghost and the House of Truth, produced in 2019. This film was directed by Aki Omotosho, follows the story of Bola Oku, who was played by Suzanne Wakoma. This is a counselor in Nigeria. Bola, a single mother to her daughter Nike, specializes in helping people overcome past trauma and move forward in their lives. However, her own life takes a tragic turn when Nike goes missing and is presumed murdered. This forces Bola to confront personal suffering and challenges as she collaborates with local police to find the daughter and bring her home. You do that, Biki. Why do I just drop her? At number 19, we have Just Not Married, produced in 2016. This is a crime comedy drama directed by Ni Aki Molayo. The story centers on Duke Inyama, who facing financial struggles due to his terminally ill mother, decides to engage in car theft to secure money for her treatment and his education. Recruiting friend Lati and KG, they disguise themselves as a newly wedded couple, stealing cars. As the eyes succeed, Duke's life becomes entangled with crime, leading to strained family relationship. A romance between KG and Duke's brother Victor and escalating criminal activities with a dangerous partner YJ. Duke eventually attempts to leave the criminal life, but a tragic event forces him back into the world of crime with a plan to fund his education in Malaysia. However, conflict with YG and a police chase culminate in a series of events that result in Duke's departure from town, leaving behind a tumultuous tale of crime and family dynamics. If I don't get that motor today, your papa will go die. At number 18, we have Kasala, produced in 2018, directed by Imai Dosio. This is a comedy drama recounting the story of four young boys in Lagos who find themselves in trouble while trying to make a living. A fast-talking teenager borrows his ten uncle's car for a joyride with his family. The situation takes a turn for worse when they crash the car, leaving them with only five hours to raise the necessary fund for repairs before the uncle returns from work. Can that be possible? At number 17, we have light in the dark. You can't be serious, Emeka. Your mom doesn't like me. C produced in 2017, directed by Ekenem Som Mekwenye. This is a drama that delves into the sensitive topic of postpartum depression, PTSD, and its impact on a young couple's relationship. Emeka and Jumoke, married for 11 years with a beloved daughter, face challenges when a gang attack results in the rape of Jumoke. This traumatic event strains their relationship and as a series of events unfolds, their journey become more challenging. At number 16, we have Out of Luck, produced in 2015, directed by Niyaki Molayon. This is a crime comedy drama that revolves around a young man making a living running a lottery business. With a beautiful girlfriend and a carefree attitude, his life seems perfect. However, things take a dark turn when a street smart lord, well known and respected, decides to spice up the young man's life. The drug lord had the winning lottery numbers, but arrived late. What I suppose we on top of the 5k we are draw for that permutation 5. Then another 5 million supposed win. Now, it demands the young man to pay the supposed jackpot amount within a week or his life is at stake. This young man must quickly engage his wits to navigate this perilous situation. At number 15, we have The Antique, produced in 2014, directed by Darrenson Richards. Begins with a happy community sharing their lives, but three strange beings invade the kingdom in search of an antique with the power to protect and sustain its royalty. The kingdom's warriors are overpowered and invaders take away the sacred emblem, 
bringing a curse on the land decades later. The other's only son is Eul, and an innocent girl named Uki is chosen to journey to forbidden lands to find and return the antique, accompanied by three special warriors. The quest encounters challenges from sinister immortal forces, and the return of Uki and the warriors remain uncertain. At number 14, we have Green White Green, produced in 2016. This is a coming of age comedy directed by Abba Makama. It follows three young people from different ethnic backgrounds enduring a seemingly endless wait for university. During these items, they engage in various shenanigans, exploring themes such as American and hip hop influence. The Boko Haram issue, the desire to go abroad, and the lack of direction that sometimes lead young Nigerians astray. Like, uh at number 13, we have Mokalik, a 2019 comedy drama directed by Kunle Afolayo. It unfolds in a mechanical workshop where 11 year old Momili from middle class suburb spends a day as a lowly apprentice to gain insights from the other sides of the track. <laughs> when his father arrives to take him home, Momile must decide whether to return to school or commit to the apprenticeship full time, encountering a diverse cast of characters and learning life lessons in the process. At number 12, we have Taxi Driver Okwa Shewu in the 2015 dark comedy directed by Daniel Oriahi. A Lagos taxi driver named Adegum, a naive 31 year old village car mechanic experiences a series of comedic and unexpected events while trying to make a living. Invited to Lagos by Taiwo, his father's fellow taxi driver, Adegun discovers that Taiwo is dangerous and as shady as Lagos at night. Like that or in love, they tend to forget that a heart gets so brittle, it's so easily broken, it's like glass. And at number 11, we have the Lost Cafe. 2018 movie directed by Kenneth Young. This is an intense realist depiction of the struggles faced by Nigerian immigrants seen through the eyes of a young man. This Nigerian Norwegian co production explores the challenges and hardship encountered by immigrants in a poignant and authentic manner. At number 10, we have 76, a 2016 production directed by Izu Ojuku. This is set six years after civil war and follows the romantic relationships between a young officer from the middle belt and an O-level student from the southeastern region. Their relationship is strained by constant military posting. The soldiers accused of involvement in the unsuccessful 1976 military coup and the assassination of General Mur Tara Mohammed, leading to an emotional dilemma for his heavily pregnant wife. At number 9, we have the CEO. This is a 2016 movie directed by Kunlia von Lyon. It centers around five top executives dispatched on a one-week leadership retreat by a multinational telecommunication firm aiming to appoint a new CEO. Despite outward camaraderie, each executive is secretly vying for the CEO's position throughout the course they engage in covert attempts to outdo one another as they desperately seek the coveted leadership role. At number 8, we have Lara and the Beat. Directed by Tosin Koka, this is a musical drama that follows the journey of two sisters navigating the music industry while confronting family secrets. The star-studded cast, including musician Cheishe, Vector, some Kele in Yama, and others, explores the lives of Kiwa sisters caught in the heart of a financial scandal involving their late parent media empire. First out of their privileged bubble, the sisters must learn to build their own future and salvage their family legacy through music enterprise. You and that's your parasitic friend waiting for you to fleece your mother of, of more money. Yeah, yeah. And at number 7, we have Giddy Blues. This is a 2016 
romantic movie revolves around the playboy Aki from a rich family and a beautiful dedicated young lady. They met in an unpredictable place and the encounter created a windstorm experience that unraveled the world of Aki. And at number 6, we have The Milkmaid, produced in 2020, directed by Desmond Obviagele. This is a drama film following a Fulani milkmaid who confronts religious extremism in rural sub Saharan Africa. Acclaimed for his poignant storytelling, powerful performances, and exploration of the human cost of extremism. At number 5, we have Invasion 1897. This is a 2014 production directed by Lancelot Odua Imwasen. This is our historical drama depicting the punitive expedition by the British against the Asian Bene Kingdom in Nigeria in 1897. The story is narrated by a young prince of Bini, arrested and brought to trial for stealing historical artifact from a British museum and is journey into history to defend himself. And number four, we have Dina, 2016 production directed by J. Franklin G. Tubo. is a psychological thriller where a guy invites his childhood friend for dinner with his family. The situation takes a chaotic turn as they begin uncovering secrets about each other's relationship. And at number three, we have Braided Life, a 2021 Nigerian dramedy film written and directed by Biodun Stevens. Follows the adventure of an arrogant and spoiled son from a wealthy home. The story unfolds as he learns life lesson the hard way, falling in love with a bread seller played by Bimbo Ademoye and facing conflict with his disapproving mother played by Tina Mba. His entanglement with the bread seller leads him into the underworld, twally, twally, twally. resulting in his arrest and sparking a war with his mother. And at number two, we have In My Country, a 2017 Nigerian action film directed and produced by Frank Raha Arese. Centers around a teacher desperate to raise money for her daughter's life-saving surgery. She turns to a dubious man for help and crisis unexpectedly gains a national attention. Dedicated his life to you. Would you help him? And at number one, we have the 2023 Nigeria drama film Breath of Life. This was written and directed by B.B. Sasori and produced by Edu Edewo. It tells the story of Timmy, a young man who achieves academic excellence, speaks 11 languages, and becomes. the first African clergyman in the Church of England. After marrying Bridget and having a daughter, tragedy strikes when his family falls victim to the local talk, baby fire. This leads to a series of tragic events that turn Timmy into a recluse. The film introduces Elijah, who later changes Timmy's life, helping him rediscover his faith and purpose. These 20 movies are still the most underrated Nollywood films of all time. Which other one do you think we should have added to the list? Let us know in the comment section. I've lived my life. It is time to live yours. You should trust your heart to make the right choice. No cookie for me. By the way, how much is this loan for self life? 5,000, 50,000, 10,000, 100,000? Oh, 1 million, ma. One, one million.